and we are live on the Germanic Languages Hub. Uh, welcome uh, everybody. This is the first episode on the Germanic uh, Languages Hub. This is the live show. Uh, welcome everybody who just uh, coming over from the Ecolinguist live show that we just finished. This is the new channel that I created and this is for dedicated specifically uh, to Germanic languages and we're going to improvise language challenges. Uh, the mic is on. We're going to improvise language challenges um, featuring Germanic languages. So uh, you guys are welcome to call in uh, if you speak a Germanic language, if you are a native speaker or you are learning a Germanic language, uh, you're welcome to call in. Um, however, if you've been participate, if you have participated in previous shows, you know that you have to register. And for this one, I have a different registration link and different uh, link to join in just to keep every channel kind of separate and every um, uh, just to keep things in order, basically. Uh, so you will have to register. There is a link and you and if you've participate, participated before, you know how uh, uh, how it works. But if you're new and you just want to call in because you want to take part in the challenges or you just want to share your uh, story with uh, Germanic languages or a Germanic language, uh, you're welcome to, uh, to do this. Fill it in and you're going to get a link to call in. Uh, yeah, so this is th the beginning of uh, something new on YouTube. Uh, basically, the idea for this channel is that uh, it's going to be focusing mostly on live streaming and, you know, building up this direct interaction with you guys, just hanging out, learning new things about Germanic languages and doing it in a more direct way because making uh, videos like the ecolinguist style, vi vi eco style videos uh, take uh, a lot of time and as you probably noticed i publish one or two videos a month and it's it's very difficult but i miss that contact with with you guys i want to um just make more interesting content for you uh more often and this is the way, this is the workaround. We can just do it live and just have fun with languages and connect and maybe that will help us uh, make videos that we can actually publish later on the Ecolinguist channel, the main channel, or maybe this channel as well, depending which direction this channel is going to go. Um, yeah, let's, let's have a look at the chat. Um, <laughs> The link is missing? Oh no. Okay, okay. How is that possible? Thanks for letting me know. Thanks for letting me know. So to anyone that wants to register, the registration link is going to be here. Uh, well, this is the one. Yeah, I'm just sending sending you the link. I will have to double check what happened there. Why you cannot see um, that link there. And by the way, if you if you want to chat, you need to be subscribed to the channel just because this channel needs a, a little a little bit of a boost. It's a completely new channel. So we started with zero subscribers uh, today. I think like yesterday, two people subscribed. I saw you guys. Thank you so much. Uh, now the the number of subscribers is growing. I see uh, we've got twenty six subscribers. Great. Thank you so much. Um, let me quickly update the link. Uh, 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 uh. Oh no, where am I? Okay, let's go to the stream. Yes, you are right. There is no link. You know, so I just updated the 
description box. So if you can't see the link there, you may need to refresh your page. But I also pasted the link into the chat so you can find it there. Yes, Germanic languages. Germanic languages. We're starting off today with the Germanic languages hub. And I thought about uh, this uh, yesterday because I w w was thinking maybe I should just wait a few more weeks before starting uh, off uh, the Germanic language hub. But as you've noticed, a couple of days ago, I published uh, a new video on the Ecolinguist channel with Simon Roper and uh, it was um, it was a, a video dedicated to Old English and the German comparison. So if you haven't seen that, I, I recommend it. Uh, it's been very successful. You guys, I think, really liked it. Um, mm, 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 mm. Uh, uh, yeah, I see you guys speak lots of Germanic languages. This is a good place to, to be then. Um, but if you want to call, that would be great. Uh, I love to see a native English speaker with a Frisian. Hmm. Uh, we actually made a video at the same time when we sh shot the video with Simon Roper and the, the German speakers. We also made a video. We recorded a video featuring North Frisian. So it's a very uh, endangered language. And uh, uh, Moritz from um, North Frisia, he, he, he learned it as a second language. So uh, we were able to improvise, uh, not improvise, we actually prepared like a nice challenge for you guys to see. We are still working on the captioning uh, on transcription because that takes l a lot of time. A live streaming it's a bit it's a bit easier because we don't have to do the captions ideally it would be great to have captions you know but it just it's just so much work um, and then uh, you know when you have a language that it, when you have a video that is predominantly one language uh, the one language is spoken in that video it's much easier to make captions but if you have multiple speakers of different languages and then you have to synchronize all those captions. It takes ages. And um, even people that I was trying to hire to help me with, with editing, like it's not that easy to find someone who wants to take up a challenge like that. It's, it's not something that people are used to. So uh, yeah, we have to rely on our own labor here. <laughs> in the Ecolinguist studio, which is me, and basically all the volunteers who take part in the videos, they, they do the transcriptions of their parts, but then uh, I have to uh, synchronize it in the editing software, which takes some time and uh, effort and uh, lots of sleepless nights, but hey, <laughs> that's how the Ecolinguist project, uh, uh, you know, survives and goes on. Um, Western Frisian is also declining. Yes, those those minority languages, you know, they're struggling a lot. That's why I thought it would be great. It would be great to, uh, you know, showcase those languages to people um, by combining more popular languages from the Germanic language family or Slavic language family or Romance language family and uh, uh, combining them together with minority languages minority languages and popular languages in one video, you know, the minority languages and the endured languages, they get a boost and people learn about them, uh, which is great. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. So I wonder, guys, maybe you have problem uh, signing in, because I see uh, one person is already in the in the waiting room. So I guess the link works. Mm -mm -mm. 
Well, let me actually check. Let me check something here. <laughs> oh well, I see I see you guys registered. But you're not calling in. So what what's happening? I see some of you just registered like a few minutes ago. Could you try Northern Frisian, Western Frisian and Simon maybe? So Simon actually is going to be featured in that Nord North Frisian episode. He took part in that. But yeah, yeah, we, we don't really have any Western Frisian speakers at the moment. Um, Simon Roper should be here more often. I agree. But you know, Simon, he's busy, he's doing his own channel uh, also. And as I said, like, making a video like this also takes a lot of time from the participants, you know, so I, I really appreciate the, the fact that Simon agrees to make appearances on my show. Um, because he's busy doing research and, and making his own videos, uh, which also takes a lot of time for him to prepare good quality content. So whenever um, so whenever uh, he can, and he, you know, he's always welcome here. Okay. Oh my gosh. I sorry. <laughs> I just I just got the the, the message from uh, Verbian. You connecting possibly to the wrong one okay okay so there could there could be an issue with the link uh, oh yeah okay it's it redirects you to the Roman languages show uh, let me fix that um, let me fix that just how let me quickly just have a look No, this is not the right one. Thank you for letting me know. Because uh, I, I created this form today and... Uh, and I tested it, but for some... Oh, I see, I see. I see. see I'm fixing the link mm. okay so I just fixed I just fixed it but I don't believe that Uh, I guess guy, you guys will have to register again or let me just quick check one more thing before I will send you on a wild goose chase. Uh, notifications, what kind of notifications are you going to receive? Mm -hmm. Okay, so you guys, uh, what you have to do People who already registered, and I see a bunch of you already registered. What you need to do to be able to connect to this stream is you have to go to your uh, to your inboxes and the email that the Google form sent to you with confirmation has the right link. So you will find it there. And new people, if you're going to register right now, you should have the link working fine. Uh, so let's try that. If if it doesn't work, then just let me know. Uh, 
Yes, so I'm I'm reading the the chats now, and the link situation is under control right now. So all the people who registered before the uh, before I realized that the link was wrong, you will have the right link in the confirmation uh, email, and uh, everybody else should get the right link the first time. Mm -hmm. Okay, Fabian is calling, so let's add him here. Okay, so Fabian, you're going to be added in a second, and you are live. Oh, with a Chinese character. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> on the screen. Hi. Can I'm you hear glad. Me? I'm glad you made it. Yes. Yes, I can hear you. Thank you so much. I just got out of the shower. <laughs> Cool, cool. It's the evening, Thursday evening, you know, what is yeah. the best, what's what's better to, to do than just join a live stream uh, talking about Germanic, uh, Germanic languages. Vebrun, Vibu yeah. actually people who don't know you, because they, maybe they missed the video on the Ecolinguist channel that you, you, you took part in, where, where are you calling from and what languages do you speak? Hi, I'm Vebjorn. I'm currently calling in from Norway. I'm Norwegian. I speak, of course, Norwegian. I'm currently studying German in school, so I speak a fair bit of that. Mm -hmm. And uh, I've had my hand at practicing a bit of uh, Greek and Latin, and I know a handful of basic phrases and things like Spanish uh, and other sort of like very, like everybody knows sort of phrases. Mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. But I've always been interested in languages. I want to learn as many as I can. Uh, so you mentioned Greek. Uh, are you just interested in different alphabets, different writing systems in particular? Um, I, I, I'm particularly interested in languages that aren't as widespread. Um, so I'm not very interested in, say, learning fluently French or Spanish, where mm -hmm. uh, I'm more so interested in the smaller languages that no one talks about, like Mongolian or Kazakh. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. And Greek spoke to me because it's such an intricate, important language, but it's only in you know, one country, really. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. it was really interesting to me. And then the, the way the verbs work, it's all very, very interesting. Yes. So you're a grammar kind of guy. You like learning. Oh, I'm grammar. very interested in linguistics and etymology. I'm not very good at it, but I love looking at the connections and stuff. Uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Also from a historical standpoint, how history affects languages. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, yes, and you also speak a dialect of Norwegian, right? Because everybody speaks um, a dialect uh, in, <laughs> in, Nor in Norway, right? Yeah, uh, well, I, I am from and live very close to the capital of Oslo, so I have a very neutral uh, Norwegian dialect, and I try to, but I have spent a fair bit of my life in the northwestern province of Mørorumstal, so I have a bit of a dialect from that region, uh, mm -hmm. from the city of Molde. Uh, but I, I try to keep it as neutral and as close to the written form as possible when I can. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, so is this is there a, a big difference between the dialect you speak on a daily basis basis to the dialect that uh, you grew up with? Well, uh, yeah, because I uh, even though I was born in the region around the capital, I spent the first like six or so years of my life in Kristian Sand. Uh, which has a very peculiar <clears throat> dialect. It is the, one of the most southernmost cities in Norway, and they have a very Danish-influenced dialect. Mm -hmm. uh, so mm -hmm. in, in like kindergarten and early elementary school, I would speak almost Danish, which mm -hmm. confused me as a child, because it's not yeah. what I was hearing on TV. Okay, okay. Uh, I see. Actually, I see that there is uh, another Norwegian uh, person calling, so maybe we can add, add him uh, on and see... That'd be great. What dialect uh, he speaks? So let's let's check that. Um, Colin, uh, are you joining us? Uh, we ca I can't see your camera. I don't know if you are on. Well, 
Well, I see that I see that uh, one of the viewers, Sidewalk Astronomy Netherlands, struggling is struggling with the registration form. Like, uh, uh, Webjorn, mm -hmm. did you have any troubles like uh, registering uh, or like how did it go after I, I I did register with the link you provided, but then I had to go through my email to get into this uh, when I went through just through the form, I ended up with the, the Romans one. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. But if you go through your email, it should be fine. Uh, at least it yeah. works for me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so just keep trying then, you know, uh, there, there are instructions there, you just need to make to the, the make it to the page with instructions. And it's pretty clear. It should I just think. be a link in the email. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so Colin, you know, I didn't see you there. I don't know, maybe your camera is off. Uh, so I, I couldn't add you to the stream. But if you want to call back and maybe, you know, your camera doesn't work or something and you just want to uh, join through audio, just write your name, your language and audio only. Uh, so, yeah, you don't have a camera. Yeah, so that's fine. Try calling again. And I will add your voice mm. only. Someone in the, the chat asked uh, if my parents had a different dialect. That's an interesting question. Because uh, my, my mother is from the sort of capital region. So she has a very neutral, very close to written form dialect. But my father was from the northern parts that I lived in. So he has a more uh, farm boy, sort of Norwegian hillbilly accent. Because mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. he grew up in like the, a small town next to the big town. So he was even more dialecty. Uh, yeah, so how families in Norway solve this problem if they, you know, if both parents speak different uh, dialects? Uh... What ended up happening, at least for me, is that when I was out in public, I would speak the dialect of the town and then at home I would speak very like written, mm. <laughs> uh, mm -hmm. which at least the written form, if you speak very closely to how it is written, it's understandable pretty much everywhere. It's mostly the dialects that get kind of clunky, uh, especially over larger distances. Mm -hmm. um, I, I've met Norwegians before that I didn't realize were Norwegian <laughs> for the longest time because their dialect was so wonky. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. Okay. Uh, so let's see. Yes, Colin. Uh, Hello. Can you hear me? Yes. Hello. Yes, we can hear you. Uh, so we, we're not showing your camera. We just yeah, hear your been, voice. The only camera I have is the VR headset, which shows double. <laughs> so I don't think that would be the best. <laughs> yes, uh, that's fine. So we can always uh, just add your voice uh, here. It, it's fine. So Colin, uh, what what part of Norway are you calling from? And what languages do you I speak? Am, I am from the part of Norway that used to be called Sognafjordane, which is now oh. the northern part of uh, Vestland, yeah. which is in the west of Norway. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I speak a, like I'll speak a dialect that is descended from Old Norwegian instead of a Norwegification of the Danish language, like they do in the East. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That, that, that's interesting. And what other languages do you speak? I speak English, Dutch, Spanish, German. Can hold a conversation. A little bit of Old Norse and uh, mm -hmm. some Faroese as well. I'm jealous. Mm -hmm. uh, because, uh, for, you're jealous well, for I never had a social Paris. life, so I had to cope in some way. <laughs> I would love to know Old Norse. It's, it's, uh, yeah. Colin, so how, yeah, tell us a little bit more about your uh, experience with Old Norse then. Like, do you like uh, just follow J Jackson's Crawford videos and that's how you learned? Or you maybe had some more, more formal training? I don't really have any formal training. I do follow his videos a little bit, but I find his pronunciation to be a bit uh, unusual. Mm -hmm. So uh, what I follow this uh, website, the Heimskringla, uh, mm -hmm. dot no, mm -hmm. which is like a it's, it's like a library of uh, Old Norse text translated into uh, most of the common Nordic languages. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, okay, I see. So th 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 there are resources, but they don't have. Usually, they don't have audio, right? So you can. Only uh, usually them. not, but I I know the phonetic alphabet, so I learned the pronunciation through there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, good, good. So maybe maybe you could uh, prepare a, a challenge for us, maybe a sentence in old I I Norse. I'm, I'm not Ooh. proficient enough to do that uh, quite yet. We can just improvise. <laughs> I'd love to, but uh... possibly. But but I see there is there is uh, one more person calling, uh, a whim. Uh, I think there is also no camera, so. Let's see, but uh, we. Yes. Hello. Hello, Hello there. Hi, Hi I Wim. think I can hear myself now. Now uh, you can hear yourself. Yeah. Yeah, just mute. Uh, the, you, so mute you the can too, yeah. <laughs> I tried to switch on my camera, but uh, I guess it doesn't work. Uh, there's a little green lamp on it, so it should be uh, working. But... Okay, so it, for some reason it doesn't work, but we can hear you fine. So, uh, okay. uh, Wim, just tell us uh, where are you calling from and what languages do you speak? I'm calling from the city of Zwolle in the Netherlands, and the languages I speak is English, uh, German, my own dialect, Low Saxon, and a little bit of Norwegian and Swedish, and a very little bit of French. And for the rest, uh, I can fake any language. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good, good. So... So I see that what we could improvise here, uh, because you guys are not familiar with uh, Low Saxon. Uh, no, well, just uh, well, the same dialect. It, that's about it. <laughs> it's uh -huh. the same dialect that they speak in North German and as in here in the east of the Netherlands. But here uh -huh. in the Netherlands, it's mixed with Dutch, and in Germany, it's mixed with High German, of course. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I think like it would be an interesting challenge if you maybe Wim, if you could maybe describe a word in Low Saxon to Norwegian speakers, and see if they can understand. I have to listen closely. I oh, might uh, have a little bit of a upper hand here since I know Dutch. Uh, yeah, I mean that's fine. That's fine. Uh, well, Dutch is not the same as Low Saxon, but I'll oh, no, give it a try. Not. Yeah, I think that would be very interesting. Mm. Mm -hmm. uh, so, Wim, do you have a word in mind that you would like to describe? Okay, yeah, I have a word in uh, in mind. Okay, okay. So, what we're going to do is, um, I think I'm going to make myself disappear. I'm just trying to figure out what is the best visual for this. <laughs> uh, um, maybe. Ah. Oh. I've been left alone. Yeah, well, I'm all, all grey. I have no idea how to switch on the camera. Uh, share screen, maybe that's it? No, that's not uh, it. There should be like a settings wheel where you can see yourself below. Uh, yeah, the yeah. Settings. Set uh, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a, uh, something with a red. Uh, I mean, it. it's fine, guys. You don't have to do anything. <laughs> Uh, I just wanted to disappear, not to distract people. But you know what? I'm just gonna uh, mm -hmm. come back. Yeah, I think that's uh, the better. We're gonna do the <laughs> visuals like this. <laughs> I was trying to figure out uh, some things here with the software, but that's fine. I'm just going to be listening mm -hmm. in as well. Maybe I'm okay. going to understand some. But to everybody watching, there are uh, sure. there. We have three three callers here. We have. Uh, Verbium that you can see, Verbium that you can see, and we have two callers, one from Norway, Colin from Norway, and Wim from uh, the Netherlands, but speaker of Low Saxon. Yo. Good. Okay, yeah. So I, whenever I, you're ready, but just to remind you how the game works, you guys want to ask questions, clarifying questions in Norwegian only, okay? So... Okay. Uh, Wim, you also will be, will try to yeah. understand them. Ah, that's good. I understand. Okay, <laughs> let's start then. Okay. Uh, no, now I have to plat praten. Yeah, my 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 taal, my spraak, die is plat eigenlijk. Maar ik zeg, ik heb nou Nederlands, Saxons of Low Saxon in English gezegd. Oké. Ik het woord waar ik in gedachten heb, het is een een object. Een ding, dus uh, je kunt er dingen aan schoppen en je kunt er omheen lopen. En uh, het is een groot ding. 
En uh, ja, je moet nuidig als het winter is, want uh, als het veel te koud. Dus uh, ja. En denk, wat zou ik nog meer zeggen? Ja, het, uh, het wordt vaak gemaakt uit uh, holt of uit steen of uh, ja, tegenwoordig uit beton. Dus uh, ja, dat is het object, uh, het ding waar ik, uh, waar ik probeer te beschrijven. Any questions? <laughs> uh, ja, je hoort de beton. Beton, ja. Het is concreet. Ja, zo. Object. So that was sick at the beginning. Yeah, beginning, yeah, can't you? No. No, it no. is a thing. It is an uh, an object, a thing. Uh, thing. Yeah, yeah, an uh, a thing is an uh, a thing in English. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, they have next more picnic to make. It has nothing to do with picnic. <laughs> Oh. Nee. Den var vanskelig. Ja, det är inte så vanskelig. Jag lyssnar och spör att du kan säga allt på nät, men lite eh, trägare. Ja. Ja. Uh-huh. Vad får jag säga? Vad får jag få ju säkert lite lättare då? The word is the same in my dialect as in Norwegian. Spelled the same, pronounced the same. Mm-hmm. And it's... Uh, Everybody knows this and has okay. this. So we m- maybe maybe you could try to repeat that or say some uh, explain it again, but a bit yeah. slower. Okay. Yeah, that's what I yeah. recommended. Yeah, I shall a bit in langsamer praten. Then uh, mm-hmm. can we better begrip him. Yeah, what I got over had that is an uh, an thing of an object of who who it ook zeggen moet. Uh, yeah, iedereen heeft dat nodig, vooral in de winter als het koud is. En uh, ja, of als het regent en uh, ja, hij, uh, hij wil hem slapen, dan heb je ook graag zo'n ding. Want dan, uh, dan lig je niet buiten, hè. En zonder dat ding, dan, uh, ja, dan uh, leef je eigenlijk op de straten. Zo, so, dat was... Uh, dat was wel nog te doen met het beek. Dat was enten een weg of een taak of iets anders. Maar dan zat hij een nerd in de winter. Det er lagt well, av betong, så det er nødig i vinteren, så... Ja, uh, betong... Det er en helikopter. Nei, det er ikke en helikopter. Jeg tror det er vegg. Kanskje mur. Ja, yeah, mur er... ...is made out of stones, ja. Ja, men det kan også være... Uh, mur er en uh, gedeelte van det ding waar ik het over heb. Dat ding heb... ...muren. Dus ja, uh, yeah, en mur, daar kom je wel in de buurt, hè. Een muur is een onderdeel, een gedeelte van het, het object waar ik het over heb. Ja, huis. Dat klopt. Yes. You got it. Huis. Ja. A house? Ja. A house. Mm, okay. ja, a house is made out of stones or wood or beton. And you need it in the winter. Because otherwise you get cold. And when it rains. And you have to sleep in it. And, yeah. So that was the word. Yeah, some people well, suggested the, winter uh, boots, but uh, that's not I the mean, right one. <laughs> I, I suggest, I suggest like, retrospectively I, understand the words. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I suggested the, earlier like a building. Yeah, a building, a building. Yeah, said, no, yeah. Do that. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't get that. So that, that. confused me a little bit. Winter, I was on like a ski mindset. <laughs> I thought it was going to be something with skis or something. No, we had we the skis the whole hand. Mm, mm. Stone skates, my favorite. Only skates. Yeah, that was the word house. Yeah, I, uh, mm-hmm. I usually uh, speak on the computer in English, so uh, uh-huh. in Low Saxon. Mm. Uh, the, the, yeah. This was Low Saxon, yeah. Yeah, Low yeah. Saxon, my own dialect. Yeah, Dutch Low Saxon, because you have very many variations in it. Uh, if so you, if I take in, a bicycle so and I go to to so Schleswig. Uh, sorry, no. <laughs> okay, so um, uh, so now I think th- the challenge went well. I think it's the speed, you know, was uh, yeah. Was, yeah was the main issue. Uh, so uh, I think what we can do, we have two Norwegian speakers. Mm-hmm. So now what we could do, uh, Wim um, or Vim? How do we pronounce your name? W I M. Vim. 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 
Vim. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's not it's a like V. A, it's like a soft Vim. V. Yeah, Vim. it's uh, like Taylor Vimson. <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's an old Norwegian TV show from t- <laughs> 30 years ago. Uh, yeah. So maybe, uh, what, what's your experience with Norwegian? Uh, well, I I hiked a lot in Norway, uh, hitchhiking, and I bi- cycled. And the last time I was in Norway, I went there on mopeds. That was about 10 years ago. And uh, yeah, I had some friends in Norway. Uh, I still have, but I haven't seen them in, in 15 years now. But yeah, my first uh, connection to Norwegian was when I was 15 or 14. I went there on holidays with my parents. And later on, I went there with a friend on bicycle. And uh, yeah, well, it was very easy for me to to understand a lot of words because there are the same as the words in my dialect. So it's, uh, yeah. it's close to uh, what I'm used to, especially the sounds. So, mm-hmm. but uh, I'm not. Uh, I never did any course or school in Norwegian. I just uh, yeah, I picked up a lot of Norwegian and Swedish because I talked with people and uh, went shopping. That's mm. uh, yeah, that's my level. Yeah. Uh, yeah. In my Ten opinion, that's the best way to learn a language, to immerse yourself in the yeah. local culture. Yeah. Which is pretty hard to do with Old Norse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, oh, yeah. There, there is, uh, I think, there's I'm sure no there is a Discord anymore. community for that. I'm sure there is a Discord oh, yeah, the, community there, for there's that. There's plenty. There's plenty. I've always yeah. been told that there was, uh, I've met people who've come to live in Norway and they've said that compared to learning other languages by talking to the locals, it's been more hard in Norway because we're so antisocial. No, oh, yeah, no, that, no. That, and of, that and of course, it's... if we know that mm-hmm. you're struggling, we just switch to English. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I speak English to my fellow Norwegians anyway. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I've lived abroad a lot, so my English is better than my actual Norwegian. <laughs> yeah. Well, so uh, let's maybe improvise a Norwegian challenge now. But because okay. we have two Norwegian speakers, maybe we will uh, focus on two different challenges. So we could start with Vebjorn. Uh, you can uh, come up with a word to describe to Vim. And Vim, you 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 will try to understand it and maybe respond to uh, to uh, Vebjorn, uh, Vebjorn in um, Low Saxon, maybe, or Dutch, whichever yeah. you feel more comfortable with. So, uh, yeah, it's no problem. Uh, I'll try to speak slowly. <laughs> yeah, but in, but in this challenge, we, yeah. we first start with with Fabian, uh, uh, and then we can yeah. switch to to Colin. So Colin, you can think about the word that you want to describe. Uh, mm-hmm. uh, meanwhile, uh, but uh, yes, so Fabian, whenever you are ready. Yeah, I think I have a word in mind. Okay, uh, that's good then. So okay, let's do that. Uh, så det er noe du kjøper når du drar til butikken, og hvis du, hvis du er tørst, du skal ha noe å drikke, uh, det kommer fra en ku, uh, og så er det hvit, uh, kommer i kartong. Uh, ja, I, I got it. Det er mjølk. Ja, melk. Melt, so it's milk. I, I expected I expected it to be pretty easy to guess because it was the first thing that popped into my head. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I've been watching uh, a lot of milk commercials lately. Uh, Wim, Wim, uh, what is the word in Low uh, Saxon? Melik. Melik. Okay. Yeah. Melek. Yeah. The L is very thick in uh, our dialects. In Norwegian, the L is very thin, like in German. Mm. Mm-hmm. Melk. Yeah. Yeah, Maybe. it's, it's yeah. Uh, it reminds me of of the um, the Polish word mleko, mleko. Mm. We yeah. also have that. Uh-huh. Mm. Uh huh. Yeah, in, in in my dialect we say mjölk. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah. No, the, I've heard that. Yeah, I've been to that area. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so that was an easy one. Colin, the, uh, can you come up with something more difficult? Uh, so I believe erase, so. Erase I have the, bar the a little bit. I have the I have the word written down here. So mm. okay, yeah. just remember, don't reveal the word. Uh, just yeah, yeah, yeah. To, uh, Provide a description so Vim can yeah. can guess it. Uh, yes. So Vim, remember that you can ask uh, clarifying questions and you can yeah. interact with Colin um, in Low Saxon. So okay. Whenever mm. you're ready, guys, we're gonna just. 
Ja, så den är uh, en handling som sker kan inte så sker väldigt sällsynt. Så par år igen eh uh, mig och Och Ja, kolla ska jag förklara det utan att ge svar med en gång. <laughs> eh, la, la. Det sker när uh, när vår naturliga satellit går igenom uh, går emellan oss och solen vår. Okej. Okay. Ja, vad ik ervan begrepen heb, uh, wat ik nou hoor is uh, dat het over de mannen gaat. Dus uh, dat denk ik. Want dat is de satelliet van de aarde. Ja. En de sterren Stijn en de maan. Dus die kant uit denk ik uit. I'm thinking in that direction, de the, the moon and the stars. Dat is een handing. Zo er nog een soort share. Oh, dat is een handing. Oké. Okay. Ja. Mm. ja. Oh, dan moet ik een vraag stellen. No, now I have to ask questions. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> If you're not sure about the answer, you, you keep asking. You know. Yeah. I think it's the moon. Mm. Is that your fina- final answer? Ja. Uh, nee. Colin, nee. Oké, okay, so keep asking. Keep asking, okay. Wim. Uh, uh, clarifying questions. Okay. Uh, <laughs> kan väl säkert förklara lite att den handling så är det inte en objekt. Ah, det är inte en objekt. Aha. Nej. Ah, bra. Det är en. Uh, ah. Well, jag tänker. Uh, I have to speak low Saxon, not Norwegian. Um, <laughs> Uh, komt dat uh, uh, is het een effect een, 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 wordt het veroorzaakt door de, door de maan dit, uh, dit woord ja, ook Stola. is het uh, app of vloed het getijden mm, nee. nee het is niet het getijden dan hebben we mon of sola mon of sol ja Gravitatie, maar zwaartekracht. Nee. Nee, nee. Licht, luz, ja. De mannen schijnt, maar dat is ook een geniet abstract. Um. Dat is toch een handing, iets een, iets een ding, iets een object. Ja. Ja, dat is goed. Er is een object, er is een effect. Uh, het is een effect, het, is een, het wordt veroorzaakt door de maan en de zon. En het is niet het getijden of de, de app en de vloed. Nee. Uh, nou, moest, dan moet ik de, de M denken. Ik uh, ben er echt zeker op dat ik kan kallen het een effect. Ja. Uh, yeah. Och så det är något som sker på en viss uh, uh, dag, eller viss datum. Oh, det, det, ja. Åh, en eclips. Ja. Ja. Super looking. Uh, you really got me there. That was a good one. But I just made a whole video on my YouTube channel of the about the eclipse, the solar eclipse. And Everybody go subscribe. I'm working on it all day, and uh, it's my uh, YouTube name too, Sidewalk Astronomer. Yeah. Ah, thinking, so that, that's uh, that's you, uh, late. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, that's me. Hmm. I, I, uh, I noticed something interesting um, from my fellow Norwegian here is that you say hending. Yeah. And then the one I'm used to is Hendersa. 
Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's yeah, that's, yeah, that's, that's I'm using the standard Ninoshk. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. using Ninoshk. I'm using book model, so this we've got yeah. both differences here. <laughs> yeah, so so I I yeah. definitely got the natural satellite. Yeah, yeah. me too. Mm -hmm. yeah, that was a great yeah. one. That yeah, was a great one. Yeah. And the moon. Both of the words do come from Latin. Yeah. So, yeah, and then I, uh, I thought, well, it is, uh, it is caused by the moon and the sun. It must, be, it must be uh, the tide, yeah, the and, and flow, flute. Yeah. But uh, yeah, well, uh, I was too was abstract. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, it was very abstract, but uh, yeah, the first one was so so easy for you, Wim. We yeah, yeah. Uh, we have to. We, we, we have Sorry, to. I, I think I think it became abstract because I couldn't exactly figure out how to uh, explain so, it and not give it yeah. away immediately. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, it was too the 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 a little vanskely, a little bit difficult. Yeah. Uh, uh-huh yeah so what we can do uh i don't know web do you want to try again with a, a more difficult sure. work now vim is a bit more like warmed up to it uh, I, I i think i have a good one okay so whenever you're ready okay so uh that that are new as my mid um new as my mid mid day or you are there after that country do i have been to route to be and Och du drar till, en, uh, drar till en pub eller en bar så har du druckit kanske lite för mycket. Um, och så efter att du har kommit hem så sover du och så, så vaknar du upp nästa morgon. Och så uh, är du inte helt dig själv, du är lite syk. Vad va heter det? Um, den känslan. Uh, medicin. <laughs> det vet jag inte vad det betyder. <laughs> Uh, um, questions or that's it or yeah the, uh, yeah the yeah, yeah, yeah um but i uh in the netherlands uh answer or in english should i talk uh, ask in english or in dutch uh, uh in dutch in dutch yeah okay <laughs> uh this you go you have to you have to sleep and the following morning feel you not lekker ben je ziek and um Even kijken. Så det ja. jag kan jag kan förklara lite extra att du, du har druckit druckit massa öl eller vin och du har blivit uh, beruset kanske och så uh, är det den förlusten dagen efter du har druckit uh, var du var du är lite uh, du är i dålig form. Jo. Ja, daar heb je een kater. Uh, uh, heeft het ermee te maken dat je de dag daarvoor te veel gedronken hebt? Uh, oh, als, je, als, je, als je veel drinkt uh -huh. dan, uh, en je drinkt te veel uh, bier of wijn, dan kun je een dag later ook ziek zijn. Maybe I'm totally in the wrong direction now, but uh, I'm really trying to decipher the Dutch. <laughs> yeah, ziek is sick. Uh huh. And uh, the volgende dag, the next day, mm -hmm. and drinken is to drink. Yes. Drink, drink. Uh, yeah. I'm thinking so about. What what colors then, Ferguson? Når du, når dagen efter du har druckit lite för mycket. Ja. Yeah. Yeah, you can ask maybe questions in English then. Yeah, yeah. Well, I think uh, uh, well, I, I'm now having, having the idea that it is a hangover, but uh, yes. But, <laughs> yeah, a kater in uh, my dialect. Okay, kater. That's that's what you call it. Kater is a uh, male cat, but uh, it's also a hangover. Because I guess yeah. you said that, and I wasn't sure what it meant. Uh, yeah. Because because we call it we're very literal here in Norway. We call it fyllesyke, which is literally drunk sick. Yeah, yeah. No, we are uh, manga <laughs> <laughs> Okay. So is is it the, the same in uh, in your dialect, Colin? Yeah, fyllesyke. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. Veel les ik, ja. Ja, I, I, I understood it. Uh, I had the idea uh, rather uh, soon uh, that that was mm -hmm. that was meant that I'm losing. <laughs> I'm getting. Yeah. Can we are I, uh, we are just dealing with so many languages at the same time, you know. I, I just started thinking about Polish word, the Polish word because the Polish word for hangover is cats. And yeah. you know, I, and only yeah, now, yeah. only now I realize that this must be like a German loan word because yeah. to yeah. us, uh, to us, it doesn't really mean uh, a cat. It has nothing to do with a cat. It just, no, yeah. it just is mm. one particular meaning, which means hangover. Yeah. Uh, and I mm. never connected with a, with a cat, but it's basically uh, like a German word that we took probably. Yeah. That's interesting. Yeah. In this context. Yeah. I'm, and uh, in my dialect, uh, dialect, uh, cats can also mean very. Cats for Kiet is very wrong. So maybe it also has connections <coughs> with that form of the word cats. Katze is, of course, cat in German, but uh, mm -hmm. maybe in Low Saxon, it is also a, a way to say very. So uh, yeah, it, it could also be kots, like pure. Kots, yeah, kots is to spit it analogy. out, yeah. It's what you spit out, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah it's yeah. vomit in my uh, dialect, kots. But that is mm -hmm. with an O. Yes, yeah, so, so, yeah. It has some interesting etymology I'm looking at right now. That that word hangover. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm looking yeah. at the etymology of kater. Kater, yeah. <laughs> is, it, is it emphasis on the a? Is it kater? Kater. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it depends on the dialect. Some say r, and some say uh, back in the throat r. Uh, I use the in the front of the mouth r. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Huh, apparently, it, it, it comes from Proto-Germanic. Kantas, I probably mispronounced that, but and then that might have been from Proto Indo European, which means to 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 be glad and rejoice. Yeah, mm. interesting that change. Re that <laughs> reminds me of the word for singing, uh, cantare. Yeah, mm. yeah. But uh, that's how you get lost in the Indo European jungle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yes. Okay, guys. So I think um, that, uh, that there's another caller uh, calling it in, but we won't be able to, to have this many people in, uh, at once. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So uh, I will uh, need to disconnect you, Vim, and Colin for now. Yeah, thank, you, thank you very much for calling in. Yeah. You're uh, hope to see you thank around. Thank you for your time. Maybe on Discord or, or whatnot. <laughs> yeah, take care. Uh, and we can add Matteo. Uh, let's Ooh. let's see how it's gonna work. Matteo, you're about to go live. Hello there. Hi. Can you hear me? Yes, we can hey. hear you, uh, Matteo. Matteo, tell us uh, where are you calling from and what languages do you speak? All right. Uh, so uh, I'm calling from Budapest, Hungary, actually. Okay. Uh, I speak uh, Spanish. It's my native language. I also speak Swedish. Uh, to an advanced level because I lived in Sweden for eight years and uh, I speak English obviously I learned it and uh, I took some Russian lessons in Sweden but I don't really speak it I just understand as a language the structure a bit mm -hmm. and oh, Polish as well I, I I wanted to learn it so I actually chose Russian because it was next to Polish and I didn't find Polish courses in Sweden at the time but mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I like Slavic languages, but uh, yeah. So I, I was curious to join this stream because of the Norwegian. And uh, I used to work at the airport in Stockholm. And, oh. or, yeah, and I would get Norwegian uh, people. And I really like the sound. It's, it's like a happy, happier Swedish to me. <laughs> so I wanted to join here because I understand it pretty, pretty effortlessly, I would say. Just some words like, for example. But you never studied it, like you just like, kind of the region you mean mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. no i never studied it was just like uh like it's, next to sweden so <laughs> it's, it's, it's interesting how different people describe norwegian because i remember i went to portugal and people there described it as sounding like how cartoon characters speak <laughs> mm -hmm. that's interesting yeah and also i would add to that that i'm curious how it is for like Iberian and Latin American people, how they perceive it must be different from Germanic and Slavic people, uh, yeah. Nordic languages, I mean, so. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
Yes, I mean Norwegian. I always like the sound of it, and now when you when oh. you said that, uh, it really sounds uh, like funny and like happy and cheerful. funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, when when Swedish is slightly more serious, maybe we have yeah, to uh, tame ourselves from our wilder days in the past. <laughs> <laughs> Makes sense. You have to compensate. Yeah, no, I think it, uh, my... we had a PR issue. <laughs> <laughs> Big crisis there. My understanding of Norwegian is because the intonation is like you always end with a high pitch at the end. Then yeah, we've to been Swedish. told a lot of our dialects they yeah. go up a pitch at the end. So it's like yeah, and it's kind of like kind of like I don't know, like you're absorbing the sounds at, in the end. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So you know, I think that we we could. Uh, uh, we could do the challenge again with with Norwegian as the main yeah. language, and you could try to see if you can understand. Uh, Webjorn, you a... are experienced hosts uh, of this kind of shows, <laughs> so uh, I'm sure you can come up with something. Um, if you need to, actually, there is like a really cool random word generator oh, online. Yeah. Uh, maybe oh, actually, cool, yeah. like, so you you can just you know go over a few times because sometimes the words that the generator generates are very like abstract. Yeah. Um, so you have to like uh, shuffle them a few times just to see if like it's oh it's a good word you know I'm actually sending you the link now um, because okay. you know sometimes when you uh, when you run this kind of show it's kind of difficult to come up with ideas. Uh, yeah, I can imagine. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, so Mattel. Yeah, last time I thought of milk, it was just. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. the first thing I thought of. Uh, that's why it's good. Region. That's why it's good to use the random word generators. Mm -hmm. You get <laughs> I must say that's the thing. If you guys ever go to Norway, you gotta try the milk. We got the best dairy. You do? Uh, which uh, percentage though? Because in Sweden, I never like the very fatty one. Like always one. Uh, we have different variations. I, I think we also it. have the best dairy products, like the chocolates, uh, all that stuff. Oh, it's great. Okay. Whenever I travel outside of Norway, that's what I miss the most. That and very clean water. I mean, the whole oh. the whole point of milk is is to be uh, fat, you know, like the fat in the milk. Is I know. Yeah. Part it's of it. <laughs> like the thing is that like uh, I used to be vegan and I started mm. drinking less, like, you know, just like almond milk or rice milk. And now I don't drink cow milk at all. I just drink rice milk. So mm -hmm. it's rice milk for most people is like water. So yeah, I would, I would be happy to switch to something else as if it tasted like, like, like cow milk. You know? yeah, maybe I, they're going to come up with that, uh, you know, in, in, maybe, yeah, yeah. At, at some food point. engineering, you know, like there's already meat. Yeah. Uh, most of those like, engineering. like vegan milks, they're just too sweet for me. For some mm. reason, just oh, too sweet. Oh yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I wonder if maybe you mean like because uh, you you live in uh, like oat Scotland, oat right? milk. I live in Scotland, yes, but yeah. so it's like oat milk or like uh, mm, yeah, oat almond milk, yeah. milk or coconut almond, yeah. milk. Yeah, it's... and they're not the the Sweden types, right? Like because they're those drinks, you know, like oat drink. Those are not like milk. They're like drinks. Uh, I mean, they they also have like the barista kind of um versions of that like the old ah, okay Boris. do they have in scotland this uh, swedish product called uh i guess not i guess it's mostly norway and sweden but it's called havre drink like oat drink oh, oh yeah it's called old drink yes oat drink, yes okay yes uh mm -hmm. yeah this is like the, the whole thing about i oh, it's kind of related to to the words because uh there has been some controversy regarding naming like vegan products with meat mm. uh, with the words that are associated with meat oh. you know, so there is some some sort of uh, movement that's just trying to stop it because it's apparently like confusing the customers that you have vegan sausages let's say that it's you know <laughs> obviously I think it's ridiculous oh, I because it, yeah. I think uh, because, so too like, it's counterintuitive yeah I mean obviously sausage uh, is associated with meat, meat but if you call it a vegan sausage you know that it's referring to the texture and the the way it looks yeah. like you know and what you can do in in the kitchen with it it's it's like interesting how we interpret the words related to food yeah you know and it's what semantics. actually it means yeah. to us like it, does sausage need to be like made of meat 
Mm -hmm. It's it's more to this idea of a sausage than just just uh, it being the sausage a meat. itself. Exactly. Yeah. Or what it's made of. Yeah. Yeah. This sem semantics Ooh. is. Quite I think important. I have a good word. Yeah, okay. and also like because the the culture is changing and the way people think about food is changing, it's it's changing the meaning of wor of of uh, those words that have been used for thousands of years. You know, that's exactly. kind of interesting. True. True. Yeah. So, uh, Vebun, uh, you have a great idea that you. Yes. Like to... oh, sorry, what's your name, uh, Vebun? Vebun. Ah, okay. I've butchered is, this uh, name so from, many times from, uh, already. I've butchered. I've butchered this name so many times already. <laughs> I got. I got the beer. Everyone does. Know. Even Norwegians butcher it sometimes. Because it's not modern Norwegian. Yeah, I, ne I never heard like Bjorn is a nor common name in Sweden, but yeah, because it's bear. Yeah, but the first part, the the the, the yeah, prefix it, is it, like. I, I, I looked into the etymology at some point. I think it's like Old Norse and Old Germanic. It's like. It's either like somebody that protects like a family or like a holy place. It's like a protector okay. of some sort. That's like a bear, and that they protect. Okay. Oh, Something there is like a, there is a suggestion that it could be a wood bear. Yeah, because because bear, yeah, there's no D in how it's written, so it's, it's just V E. Uh, and and bear with the D is um, yeah, it's like um, firewood. <laughs> Uh -huh, okay. uh, so I think that's a more modern thing that evolved side by side, but it's not the origin of it. But it's a good guess. A lot of people have called me wood bear to avoid wood having bear. to say the Norwegian. I even I even bought a wooden bear to symbolize that. <laughs> mm -hmm. Just to confuse people more. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Uh, so so uh, Vebjorn, uh, then uh, mm -hmm. we can do this challenge again. But uh, Matteo, you need to remember the the rules that you have to respond in, in Swedish. Swedish. Yeah. Okay. In yeah. Swedish, so we, we can. It should be a lot it. easier to understand. Yeah, yeah. I think I'll have an easier time understanding than like speaking. I haven't spoken like because I've been in Hungary for like five years, uh, uh, and uh, reason why I wanted to see to try you know with Norwegian like okay let's see and. Uh, well, well, before I, before we start, then how about you, what was your favorite phrase in in Swedish? Phrase. Uh, I was never very good uh, at learning like languages through like uh, colloquialisms or like mm. uh, phrases or expressions. Uh, I'm more like a chord, I guess. Yeah. But I like um, uh, mis, like from mm. misi, which is like, uh, for example, in Sweden, there's the Friedax mis, which is like Friday night comfy coziness. And I like yeah, that. Yeah, we have our own word for that. <laughs> is it mis or what do you call it? Uh, I think. That would, that would be what we call kus. Kus. Oh, okay, okay. I think I've heard of this. I, I, I have an Norwegian friend, so yeah. And in Dutch, there is a word called gezellig, gezellig, which is like just hanging out, like enjoying the. Time yeah, yeah, kusle. That's the like adjective version. Yeah. Kusle in. Mm -hmm. Kusle. Yeah. Okay. Oh. So just Ooh. before we move on, you know, because there, there is a comment uh, uh, from uh, Colin, yes. I suppose, yes, that uh, home uh, bear, Vabjorn, which means home bear. Mm -hmm. That's interesting because there was a tradition. I think it was a very small thing, but there were actual Vikings and Norsemen that would like adopt bears and just have them as pets. <laughs> yeah, I mean, back in the day, obviously, that was yeah. a normal thing to do. <laughs> you take like a bear cub and then race it as your own for a bit. I think yeah. that was a practice. Mm. Not well, very yeah. common, though. Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, that's a different story <laughs> completely. <laughs> so let's let's get back on track with the challenge. All uh, right, let's do it. So whenever you're ready, guys. Right. All right. Okay. Så uh, detta ord, uh, det, det kan ha uh, två betydningar, enten så är det uh, ett, uh, ett synonym för en död kropp, eller så är det att uh, två ting är uh, detsamma, att de, har, uh, att de är synonymna uh, mm -hmm. på en måte. Uh, det är uh, från gammel tysk. Gammel tysk, uh, okej. Okay. Uh, uh, det, 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 har de, det brukes huvudsakligen för att benämna att två ting är det samma, men kan också brukas för en, en död kropp. Uh, Speciellt om du finner en död kropp, för exempel 
i uh, en krigsmark eller uh, efter ett mord. Uh, ja. Uh, jag förstår vad du säger allt. <laughs> alltså, ja. det är, uh, Fantastiskt. Men nu, har ju, nu är du ju lite förvirrad. De två ord uh, uh, du sa, um, att de är mm-hmm. likadana, de är uh, adjektiv eller substantiv eller uh, det är, uh, beskriver? Uh, uh, det, det är väl i en form ett, uh, ett substantiv. <laughs> Ja. Alltså, det, grammatiken det, ja. själv. Nej, jag, jag vet inte, inte riktigt mycket om grammatik heller Men jag undrar där om, om, om samma grupp kategorier säger Så det, det, om de i en sak är det de... ett, ett synonym för en, en död kropp Som jag sa Så där är man mot oss i det okay. Att du fann ett död kropp det, det, um, eller att, eller att Putin är detsamma. Det, det, det är en väldigt intressant etymologi bak det. Um, Just det, okej. Okay. Så det är baserat på etymologi. Lite. Mm. Relationen, alltså förhållandet mellan dem. Och... Ja. Okay. Uh, det är ett väldigt, kort, det är ett väldigt kort ord. Väldigt kort ord. Är det, alltså, okej. Okay. Uh, Ja, jag vet inte faktiskt. Alltså, jag kanske inte vet ordet på svenska. Det, det, kan, det kan vara så att jag inte kan ordet på svenska. Uh, för att jag, ja, jag har uh, alltså, begränsad vokabulär faktiskt. Men, mm-hmm. ja. Uh, ja, men du är alltså. väldigt flink nu. Uh, tack. <laughs> så finns det uh, annat sätt uh, att uh, beskriva alltså, ordet? Eller... Mm. Eller en situation uh, kanske, du kan beskriva en situation där man ska använda den till exempel. Ja, så du, du, har, du har två detektiver som, det, det. Som, har, som har kommit till ett mord och så, och så finner de en, en död kropp och så ser den ena till den andra. Jag har funnit ett. Uh, är, det, är det bevis eller? Nej, jag har funnit Nej. ett... Ah, no, just det, 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 det gäller kroppen alltså, egentligen. Det är ett annat ord är... för den döda kroppen. Aha, du kanske inte vet ordet. Mm. <laughs> är det... oh, oh, nej, jag, jag vet det. Är det eh... Vad heter det? Offren? Nej. <laughs> inte offren. God ah. idé, men nej. Det är inte offren. Uh... Det, det, brukas ja. också i, det brukas också i matte, matematik. Okay. Uh-huh. 2 plus 2 är 4. Just det. Och det, det är symboler som du, du, du ja. menar. Okej. Okay. Uh, vad heter det på svenska? <laughs> oh my God. Alltså, jag, jag, vet, jag, und, jag antar att alla förstår vad vi pratar om. Men det är någon <laughs> som kanske vet ordet. Uh, uh, på engelska ska... Du vet, du kan ordet på engelska, eller? Mm-hmm. Okej. Okay. Um... Det är nog väldigt uh, anledes på engelsk. Okej. Okay. Konsekvens. <laughs> mm, det är... Um... Nej, jag faktiskt kan inte. Oh. Kanske Norbert kan hjälpa till. Okay, so you can you can you can look it up or whatever language you you think. Uh, you're, you're, uh, what, what? I'm I'm curious in Swedish. Uh, I I mean he he explained it clearly. Yeah. Like okay, it's a uh, uh, another yeah. term, a synonym for a dead body in a crime scene yeah. or something. Mm-hmm. And there's another situation where there are two words that are synonyms that are used similarly, right? That also yeah, it's it's either it's either a. Uh, it's either a, a synonym for a dead body or a word that's used when two things are the same. The same, yeah, like equal to. Uh, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. But I don't know the word in Swedish. I don't think. I <laughs> so this it was, might be. This was a very it's specific very word. Okay, so uh, what word comes to you, Matteo, like in in other languages that you speak, maybe in Spanish or. In Swedish, I said offren, which is like, uh, because he, I asked him if he could describe a situation and then he mentioned two detectives finding a body and then they're like, okay, yeah. then where is the, and then 
but he referred to the body and the term referred directly to the body. Well, where, often uh, is a victim. Yeah, exactly. Victim. It's the victim. Okay, it's so a, you're very close, I suppose. So, so you're very uh, close. Web, you're what? What's the uh, answer? The word was leak. Leak. Oh, I I don't know about. <laughs> I Which, mean, uh, it's either a term for like corpse, uh -huh. or it is like equal, the same as. The same as. Uh, <clears throat> it has a very interesting uh, etymological uh, etymological history to it. I looked into it because of the English term verily. Uh, like the old English Shakespearean term verily, like that's true. Uh, the the Lee part comes from Old Germanic and means like the same as, uh, or like more specifically to do with like the same as another body. Uh, so it then evolved into Norwegian being both a body and the same as. <laughs> right. Uh, and it's funny because I, I know the word in Swedish, I know leak, like Apparently -K. in Low Saxon, it's it's the same. Leak. Yeah, it's, it's, so you see it a lot in the, the Germanic languages, but English, I guess, took the more Greek and Latin route. Yeah. Because mm -hmm, mm -hmm. they uh, have corpse and equal. Equal, yeah. It's kind That's of interesting. Of course, uh, Patrick course, is yeah. suggesting that there is a, uh, there is a rela relationship between liquidate, liquidating. Mm. Liquidating, yeah, I can see that. Yeah, I mean, at least in Polish, we can use that word likwidować, that verb as a, uh, you know, as a slang for killing someone, basically. Oh, ah, yeah, because it's like, like I, I think liquidate is like, because um, yeah, it's like liquid, you're turning to liquid. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, uh, so that's that's kind of interesting. Uh, yeah, so so you picked a very very specific word. And that was right? good. Yeah. Because, uh, you explained it perfectly, and I mean, I know the word leak like Likadana. I even mentioned it like while I was asking for an explanation, but I never associated <laughs> that term to like a corpse or, and I mean, I watched documentaries. Yeah, so, like, cr it, it's, and... uh, it's, I, I thought it was so interesting. I never thought about it throughout my entire life. And then when I looked into it, I was like, wait, why do we call dead bodies equal? Equal, yeah, it's fascinating. Mm. Thanks for that, even though I didn't guess it, but uh, I, I, I could... Oh, but you were very close and your guesses were very close. good and your Swedish was good. <laughs> Yeah, the, because the point of this this uh, this activities and exercises is to kind of understand the concepts, mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. not necessarily like getting the yeah. word right, you know. And you yeah, got the situation and everything. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, it, yeah. It was really close. So nice. we can kind of prove to people that even if you don't know words, you can kind of get around somehow yeah. just by improvising. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Yes. So. I think that would be a very good moment to, to end today's stream. You know, oh. it was the word uh, very, very uh, in the theme of the uh, upcoming Halloween season. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's true. So, uh, I didn't even think of that. Yeah, happy Halloween to everybody. Happy then, Halloween. Uh, thank you everybody for, uh, for being here and um, participating, calling in. I'm glad that it worked out. Thanks for having um, me again. It's been a while. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm I'm planning to stream on this channel uh, occasionally. I'm still kind of um, figuring out the the the, the frequency. Uh, if I want to like build up this channel to a certain level, maybe if we get like 1,000 subscribers, then I will be able to have like a regular show here. But meanwhile, mm -hmm. it's probably going to always start with the Ecolinguist life, and then we're gonna move over. Uh, mm. to the Germanic uh, language channel or sometimes I can just go spontaneously and just see who's around uh, yeah that's, that's good too <laughs> yeah yeah and, so yeah and guys make sure to subscribe to this channel and make sure to subscribe to everyone that was featured um, yes like sidewalk is and you uh, also web like you also have a channel uh, yeah I'll yeah. go check it out <laughs> yes go. I, I'm not making much language stuff I do have a video in the plans to translate some Norwegian fairy tales, but it's in Norwegian your content or uh, no? It's in English because it's in English. Okay. <laughs> I, I, you I, will audience. I, I am not subscribed to a single Norwegian channel that talks exclusively in Norwegian. <laughs> okay. Understandable. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, great. So again, thank you so much. Thank you, Norbert. See you around. See you next time. Yes. Thanks for having me. Uh, and we can finish here. Have a good night. And happy Halloween. <laughs>